Hello, I'm Zed, prototype of the ZX line and the future of stand-up comedy. <laughs> well, what kind of audience do we have here this evening? Anyone on a first date? <laughs> Good! Any football supporters? Good! Anyone from out of town? Good! Where are you from, sir? Good! Always glad to meet someone from... Your town! Of course, this isn't the actual act. No, this is just the warm-up. Now, we could do it like this, or we could use microwaves. You know how that works, don't you? This is a wave. This is a microwave. Once again, wave. Microwave. Product of good science, gone bad. Now, before this set really takes off, perhaps it would be best to review some of the safety features of this studio. In the event that a joke should be told tonight that's just too sophisticated or highbrow, comedy manuals will fall from compartments immediately above your seats. In the unlikely event that this act should really stink, exits are located on the sides of the room. We appreciate your patronage and look forward to servicing you. Again in the near future. I know what this lady's thinking. Is he politically and anatomically correct? More important, is he user-friendly? <laughs> well, modesty aside, we're not talking floppy disk here. No, we're talking hard drive. We're talking major RAM. We're talking over four billion mega love bytes. Love machine? Ha! All I can say is... Thank you! Of course, I really shouldn't joke about it. Not a good time to be an android, what with all these computer viruses going around. Heck, I don't interface with anyone unless my coaxial cable is fully insulated. <laughs> now, that may seem far-fetched to you, but you wouldn't believe how many women want cable these days. <laughs> ah! Those comedy manuals should be falling at any moment. <laughs> of course, for a long time, I went out with a beautiful European appliance, but it just didn't work out. Let's face it, it's just not the same if you have to wear an adapter. <laughs> so, we got any Trekkies in the audience this evening? Yay. Good! <laughs> I prefer the old Star Trek myself. Maybe it's because Captain Kirk and I have pretty much the same timing. We are men. We can learn. Ah, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Of course, the new Star Trek has a Klingon on the Enterprise. Now, I don't want to sound like a racist or anything. But you know how those people are. Why do they have it in for the Federation anyway? Wouldn't the natural enemies of the Klingons be the Teflons? <laughs> I'm ZX5000. Peace. <laughs>